welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. Um, I'm going to make a couple of really quick announcements that I make at the beginning of every show for everyone who's new. Please don't get fooled. I will never reach out to anybody asking you for anything. I won't reach out and say, you need a reading, you need this, you need that. I won't do it. If that happens, report it, block them, do whatever you need to do to protect yourself and your money. Okay. I will be taking callers on the call law line, call line. The call in number is 845-277-9131. Or if you are watching live on YouTube, you can post your question in the YouTube chat. I go back and forth between callers and YouTube. So I get through as many people as I can. Um, if you are on the call, please, please have a specific question or a connection. Like, uh, can, uh, um, if you want to connect with a loved one, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. Okay. Whew. We're going to get started today with names. Um, and I am going to, uh, the names I say, they may be your name, your loved one's name, or the name of somebody in your family. That's how you'll, you'll know. And one name can be for more than one person because there are several people here always during the show shouting out their names. And sometimes I hear the name three or four times. That means there are three or four people with that name giving me their name. Um, so I'm going to get started, but I don't say it three or four times. I'm going to get started with names. The first name I'm hearing is, um, uh, Giovanni. The next name I'm hearing is Marco. The next name I'm hearing is Mar 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 Maribel, Maribel, Maribel. The next name I'm hearing is, um, Cesar. The next name I'm hearing is Lucas. The next name I'm hearing is Marcus. The next name I'm hearing is Edward. And then I am hearing um, <laughs> Michelle. And then they sing this song, Michelle or M Michelle, my bell, whatever that song is. Sorry, folks. Um, the next name is uh, the ne I'm sorry, the next name is uh, okay, Britt. The next name is I'm only going to do two more names, Mike or Michael, and then the, the last name I'm going to do today is. And, and I, the reason I stall is because I'm hearing so many names at once, I can't even make one name out. So I'm waiting for one name to come through clearly. So I apologize for that stall in between names. Um, Brian, Brian one out of all of them that were shouting out Brian one. Okay. Now I'm going to do the songs. The song can be a song, a loved one listen to a song you love they love or you listen to together or it's the answer to a question sometimes a, a group will come out or sometimes a phrase will come out whatever it is we'll we'll see um the first <laughs> The first song is, it's raining men, hallelujah, it's raining men. Okay, then. <laughs> oh my goodness. The next song is, um, I keep hearing Geronimo. I don't know why, but I just keep hearing Geronimo. If that makes sense to anybody in the chat, please let me know. Um, the next song is, is um in the middle of the night 
Da na 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 na. That that song. If you if you know what, if the song is for you, and I only sing like this little bit of it, you're gonna know, and you'll say, "Oh, I I know exactly what song that is," and you'll know if it's for you. If if you don't know, then the song probably is not for you. Oh, the next song is um, "Take It Easy on Me." <laughs> It should be easy to see. <laughs> I don't really, you know, these songs are, and then I hear Meatloaf. And so even as I'm trying to speak, they're just like blurbing songs through or groups through um, Meatloaf. And that, that's obviously the group, or maybe there's a song called Meatloaf. The next one is, um, again, Nirvana. Um, they always come through with Nirvana. The next song is... Um, or another group pearl jam pearl jam and then the next song is um hotel california the next song is okay that's it no more songs okay okay I am going to go through, if you call in, please don't forget to hit one on the dial pad so I know you have a question. And then if you're asking online, one question per person, so make sure you put your most important question first because that's the one I'm going to go with and then I'm going to go back and forth. Um, just because you're on the YouTube chat, that doesn't mean I'm going to keep answering question after question, although I might. It depends. We'll see. Um, but I try to limit it to one question per so that I can get to everybody. I'm going to start with a question on the calls, which would be the first caller is 805. 805, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Dawn in California. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. It was my birthday a week ago. So, um, I'd like to get some messages from my mom, Anne, who's on the other side, please. Okay. So the first thing, you know, the first thing that I'm hearing, which is, you know, I'm just going to give it as I get it. The first thing I'm hearing okay. is... Um, um, the word defensive. Um, and I, I'll, I will explain this, uh, kind of let your guard down, let people in and maybe, um, don't, don't, you don't have to be so protected. It's okay, um, to let your guard down a little bit. Don't, uh, keep, uh, that's the only message she's bringing through for your birthday is to, it's okay to um, be, um, I don't want to use the word vulnerable because that's a word that we often think of as it's bad to be vulnerable, but that if once somebody, here's how she would say that, once somebody comes through and you know them, you can kind of soften, soften up with them or not keep your guard up. And I think especially when it comes to um, potential partners, um, once they've mm -hmm. they've come through and they've they've shown you this is, you know, you can, uh, okay, don't. Um, does she see a partner, does she see a partner coming in for me soon? Okay, so I'm going to get to Okay, so here's what I'm going to say again. Um, if you have a question for your loved one, ask that question right away. Don't wait till I'm already giving you the message and then ask the question in the middle of me giving you the message. Let's respect our loved ones on the other side and respect the, the psychic too. Um, and I think the message is saying that if you can let your, your guard down, someone will have the opportunity to come in. If you're going to stay very guarded, nobody will get through your wall. That's what I'm hearing, Donna. So please, by all means, you know, let that guard down a little bit. 
or once somebody has made it through your first or second or third test, like you, this is this is what I'm seeing when when a man approaches you or a potential partner approaches you, you right away start finding things that might not be good about this person or start saying, like if they say something, you might right away go, oh yeah, no, that's not, that's never gonna work out. So, or if you if you feel like they don't have um, this or that, you might discount them right away. Um, let that down, let that down a little bit. You might be surprised at what comes in. You know, <clears throat> prisons, we create prisons, right? We, we create walls. Okay, that's the way, thank you. We create walls, but we're the only prisoner. Okay, we're the only prisoner. When you create walls, you're the only prisoner. And that's the message I'm getting for you, Donna. I know that might not be the message that you want to hear today, but it's the message you need to hear today. So please take that into account and please understand that with love. Like I know certain people call into the show or put a question in the show all the time asking, when am I gonna meet someone? You meet people all the time. Um, or, you know, look around so you can meet people. Um, but are you letting those people in? Are you giving them a fair shot? If they were discounting you the way you discount them, um, as soon as you meet them or have one or two conversations with you, how far would it go? So the, the idea here is to just relax a teeny bit. I know we have to be safe. We have to be secure. We have to make sure that we're keeping ourselves protected to a certain extent, but also if we are looking for somebody, we have to be willing at some point to give someone a chance. So that's the message I'm getting for you, Donna. I hope that's that's helpful. I hope I have your name right. Isabella in the chat wants to ask, does my dad, Doug, have any message for me? Isabella, the first thing, yeah, your dad's coming through very strong. The first thing, oh, The first, I, I'm just letting go of the energy of the last caller and um, her message. Um, Isabella, your dad, Doug, would want to say, um, keep going, stay strong. You're going to get to your next, like if you're going up a mountain, you're going to get to your next place very soon, like the next um, level very soon you're gonna have like a um like a time to relax in a moment that time is not now just keep going and you're going to be amazed when you get there at how wonderful it is but then you'll have to you can take a break for a moment but isabella you have to keep going after that and that you are going to have um some successes coming in and those successes are going to be very profound for you. Okay, Isabella. So, and oh yeah, of course he loves you. And um, don't, uh, he, he's singing the song, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that. And please don't tell me I don't know how to sing. I know folks. I know I don't know how to sing. If they bring it through in song, I do it. Not for me. That's what they want me to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, Isabella, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to go to the next caller. 470, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, I'm Barry. Hello? Yeah, hello. hello. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ben. I'm calling from Atlanta. How can I, excellent. How can I help you today? I would like to know see who's around me. No, I don't, I don't do that on the show. If you want to do that, I can do that in a private reading. But for the show, oh. I, I ask everybody to give me a specific name of a loved one and their relationship to you. I'm not going to go through the whole list of people on the other side for you. I'm not going to do that. But if you want to ask one person on the other side, if you want to connect with one person on the other side, we can go ahead and do that. 
Okay, Mary. And who is she to My mother. you? Mary, your mother. Okay, perfect. My mother. Thank you so much. We can do that. Okay, the first thing that Mary wants to say to you is it's time for you. Oh, sh shit. <laughs> Okay, the, I, I am not even going to try to tell you what this message means because I know you are going to know what this message means. Uh, she is saying, it's time for you to take out the trash, stop playing around with, I don't want to say people, stop playing around with things or whatever that, that you know are not the best for you. It's time for you to get serious about I don't know if it's your life or just a certain aspect of your life, but she's like, she's just saying, stop playing. This isn't, this isn't a game. This is your life. You need to get serious about this, 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 and you know what this is and don't let people play with you. Do not let people play with you. And if they are just playing, playing with you, it's time for you to let them go. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to tell them what they're doing. They know what they're doing. But this is, this is, it's, it's time. And you don't even have to let them know. You can just kind of fade people out that are not in your best interest or not good for you at this time. Does that message make sense to you? Yes, yes, it does. Okay. And she wants to say, don't worry about how they feel about it. Like, if they were thinking about you, they wouldn't be playing with you. They wouldn't be messing with you. They wouldn't be treating you like a, do I really have to say that? They wouldn't be treating you like a, a side, they wouldn't be treating you the way they're treating you if they cared that much. So if, if somebody is not coming correct, it's time to correct the situation, not them, the situation by letting them release them. Just release them with love and get on with your life. And I, I'm going to tell you, when you let one person go that might not be the best for you or two or three, you might have a moment where you can do some self-reflection and get back into yourself and remember who you are. But good people will come in. Good people will come in. People who are very good for you will come in. And if these people come back, they have to come back better. They cannot come back the same. I hope that makes sense for you, love. Okay, thank you. You are so welcome and thank you. And she loves you. She, <coughs> she, she's also going to say she loves you. Okay? Okay, I love her too. Oh, she knows. She knows. She has like the biggest bright. Her eyes twinkled as you said that. Thank you so much, love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys so much for calling in. If somebody would like, if anybody would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Please don't forget, I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. And I go back and forth between the call-ins and the chat on um, YouTube. So you can watch live on YouTube. Uh, you can listen live on the call. You can also watch the replays of the shows on WSES, the television station, all of their affiliate television stations, live streaming, and Rude Rangers, all of their streaming stations. Hi, Tony. I enjoy your messages. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Um, my question is, what message does my dad, Ron, have for me? Thank you so much, Lynn. Okay, Ron, where are you here? Yep, he's here. He's like right there. Ron, what do you want to tell Lynn? <laughs> that song comes in, take it easy, take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own, your something drive you crazy. You may win and you may lose. Okay, your own wheels, but he's saying your mind, reeling in your mind. Okay, so Lynn, the message here today is, um, then I hear the song, relax, come to it. I'm singing that song completely wrong. Don't really know the words, but that's what's coming through. Take it easy, relax. 
everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to work out. No matter how much you push, pull, or struggle, everything is still going to work out. So just take a breath. I know. I'm so sorry, sweetie. As women, we don't like to hear this because we know so much of certain things falls on us and we really need to want, we feel like we're the ones holding holding everything together and I can feel your, okay. So just, um, you're not, the message from your dad is you're not alone. This is a really emotional message, Lynn. So if this makes sense to you, I really need to know. You're not alone. You have so many people on the other side that are helping you hold it all together. And you have so many people on the other side that are working to make sure it all works out for you. You may feel like you're doing this on your own, but you're not. You're not doing it on your own. So please just know that. That's what your dad um, would want you to know. And um, th there is a, there is a strength, this is from your dad, there's a strength in surrendering a bit, okay? And don't be afraid to let others help you because they will. Lynn, I hope that's helpful. And whatever you're going through, uh, I, I hope that. And you know what? Even if you, I'm going to say this, sometimes we don't even have to be going through something big. It's just the consistent holding it together, the consistent 24-7 of it, the consistent, you know, making sure everything is there and working and however we want to say it. Sometimes that's just enough, right? To get us to this point, like there's not a breathing spot. So whatever it is for you that he is referring to, and it might not even be that big of a thing, but that's the message. I hope that was so helpful. I'm sending you love along with everybody else. I'm going to go to the very next caller, another 470 number. 470, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, good um, afternoon. My name is Trina. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Trina, how are you today? Good in yourself. Excellent. Thank you so much. Love, how can I help you today? Um, I was wondering, my father from the other side named Spencer, got anything to tell me? Okay, just give me a second, love. Let me get into his energy and make sure I've cleared away um, the last energy. Spencer, where are you? Here, here. He's over here. Okay, for those of you watching, what would you like to sell? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why the word sell came out. What would you like to tell her? What message do you have for her today? The first message is tell her I love her. Tell her um, okay. I don't know why I, this is just the way it's coming out. Tell her she's my baby. Tell her I'm gonna be there. I'm I'm gonna be there. Tell her I'm gonna be. I'm just saying everything I'm hearing. Okay. I and I'm hoping it should it should make sense for you. Um, can I ask you, um, can, can I, your name is Trina, right? Yes, ma'am. Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Um, how, how long ago did he pass? Was it, a, um, was it a while? It's been like three years, I think. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, because there's somebody else here with him that passed a long time ago. And it's it's Is for a boy? you. Yes. It's definitely a male. No. It's it's a male. His son, Ron. Okay. Thank you. My my brother. 
Okay, thank you. And I feel like I'm going to cry again. So it's a very emotional message coming through for you also from your brother is saying he's sorry it didn't have to be like that i don't know you should know what that means and that could be for him or for you or for just in general just an in general it it will make more sense to you than anybody listening even me but the okay and then there's an older woman with them an older woman also who just stepped in so so she would have been like the age of a grandma but i'm not saying she is a grandma but she would have been the age of like what what we think a grandma a grandma's age okay so what i'm getting here is that oh, oh okay so the three of them together are going to give messages you you might know who each message is or whom each message is coming from but I'm just going to say I'm out because I'm not going to like try to decipher who's saying what. But the three of them together are saying, you're doing better than you think you are. Keep going. Don't stop. And then I think this is, I'm just going to say it's, it's probably from your brother. Don't stop with a bone stop. Don't stop till you get, it's a Michael Jackson song. Love it. <laughs> okay. So I think it's your brother because it's a little younger and funnier of an energy. <laughs> Um, but it could be your dad also. Um, they're saying, again, you're doing so much better than you think you're doing. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, the message is coming through. You deserve. Um, I don't know this song at all. And they're trying. Okay. They're trying to put a song into words. Like they're trying to sing a song and I don't know the words, but. I'm and they're not bringing it through clear enough, but the message is you deserve everything. You're like a queen. You're beautiful. You deserve everything and don't settle. Now, I, there is a song that probably says that, but those aren't the exact same words. And then you're, and I keep, for those of you watching, her loved ones are right here behind my left so, sh shoulder. That's why I keep pointing there and going back and, and because they're right there. So, like, I'm, referencing them um they also want to tell you that you're going to be um having a bit of luck do not go to the casino <laughs> okay i don't know if you do that's not what this means that is not the green light for go no what they are saying is that oh lord no lord no and they're saying it like L-O-R-T, Lord, no. Um, that is not what that means. Any luck that's gonna come to you is going to come to you naturally, not, not a forced or in that way. But there is a bit of luck coming to you and there is going to be a little bit of extra coming to you. And when that comes to you, uh, you they're saying use it wisely, but also enjoy it, okay? And this could sometimes be a tax return. This could sometimes be just a, a little, we find something or we get something or somebody gives us something, whatever it is, they're saying just don't, um, It's it, but it's not, they keep emphasizing it is not coming from a casino. <laughs> so they want you to know that. So they're coming through and they want, they also want you to know that they're there with you all the time okay love okay okay something's coming and i gotta wait and they with me all the time yep and and that that uh you know one thing i'm hearing something... whenever this comes in <clears throat> whatever it is don't don't give a okay yeah thank you just in general not even for this but just in general don't give away your blessings okay okay don't give away okay. your blessings that's what they really want to say to you is when this comes in whatever it is and it doesn't mean it's going to be something huge um just don't give away your blessings okay sweetie yes ma'am because i know sometimes and when i get it i'll call you and let you know i i hope you do i really hope you do 
I do. Thank you so much, my love. I will. Thank you. Thank you. You stay blessed. Thank you. You too, my love. You too, my love. So sometimes when we get a little extra, we want to bless others. But in this case, your family is saying, keep your blessings to you. Because when others get blessed, they don't bless you. And this blessing is coming in for you. And it is not selfish. And the you know, so many, sometimes people think, well, you know, when I give blessings, I'll get blessed more. That is not always the case. Sometimes you get a blessing and that's your blessing and you have to use it appropriately for yourself to start something up for yourself or to make a little nest egg for yourself or to do something for yourself. And I know everybody is not always able to bless you back, you know, but uh, that's why they're telling you, sweet girl, to hold this blessing for yourself. Don't worry about uh, putting that blessing out, whatever it is. And it doesn't mean it's going to be a huge blessing, but it is going to be a whatever the blessing is, it's coming in and it is going to be a good blessing. You're really going to enjoy it. Now, we always assume it's going to be money. It could be something spiritual. So keep your ears, your eyes, and your heart open for any kind of blessing that comes in. I think it is monetary because I'm hearing the word monetary with that love. Okay. I'm going to go to Jenna Fa. Would love to connect with my friend, Frank. Jenna Fa, um, where's Frank? Over here. Frank, what would you like to say to Jennifer? Okay, the first thing, Frank's energy is completely different than everybody else. The first word I get with it is somber. So I don't know if before he passed, he was somber or had this very, it's, it's a very odd. I, and then I hear the song, Nothing Man. So whatever that means, Jennifer, um, please know that. So the first thing Frank would want to say is, um, Frank, what do you want to tell her? His messages are a little odd. I don't know why. Um, they're just a little bit different. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say he he would want to say it's okay if you let go a little bit or you let let him go a little bit. I don't know what that means. In this case, I feel like maybe there's a connection that you're holding on to or an emotion that you're holding on to with this that it's okay if you let it go now. Um, he's doing good. He's okay. Um, and then I'm hearing the message, he didn't mean for things to turn out the way they did. Or he didn't mean for things to happen or end up the way they did. But again, his energy is very, it's almost like, like the feeling of it is very somber, almost like, it's just a very different energy. That's the way I'm going to say that, sweetie. Okay. Um, I hope that was very, very helpful for you, Jennifer. I'm going to go to the next caller. If you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Um, you can ask a question about life, love, career, finances, or connect with one loved one on the other side. Okay, dokie. The next number is 514. 514, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, hello, Tony. Genevieve, how are you? Hey, Genevieve, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I am going to take you off from speaker so that you hear me much better. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I live you. on hold. <laughs> Well, just so everybody knows, right, we need to do that so that you hear us better. Okay, Thank so you, um, can you hear me properly now? I can. How can I help you today, beautiful? <clears throat> yes, so I would like to know, I'm about to let go of my license 
and of real estate. And as you know, it would be the last piece of the puzzle to close that chapter from that past. Um, and I wanted to know if I should do that. Today's my last day, but so I, and I've been actually I've been really feeling relief to let go of it. And I was wondering if really I should not continue and pay for that license fee. Okay, so <clears throat> they're asking you, excuse me, <clears throat> they're asking you, I, I've, I've already received an answer, but they're asking you a question and the question is um, it, a, a statement, but a question. If you're letting it go because you're done with that, because you're done with it, that's okay. But if you're letting it go because you never want to put yourself in that situation again, or you have a fear of doing it, then it's not the time to do it because we can never let go of things out of fear. We have to overcome the fear and then we can let go. Oh, I'm so sorry, my throat. <clears throat> but I'm going to say this too. Even if it is out of fear, but you never see yourself doing it again, it's time to let it go, okay? Um, but if it's so, so that's the question slash statement. And how does that question or statement make you feel? Well, there's some, um, there's part of me, there's no more interest. There okay. is, not, uh, not, uh, yeah, I might be uncomfortable with that again, but there's part of me that I've lost, that, that totally killed that, killed the spark. So I've lost interest. Okay. Okay. Then it's time um, to say goodbye to that. But you must, you must have something. You must start working on something to take up that space. <clears throat> I hope that makes sense to you, my love. It does. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. And whatever takes that space has to give you. So having that license, this is the way I'm hearing it. Um, I want you to know that this is the way I'm hearing it. That license made you feel a certain amount of credibility in that area, like an accomplishment, a feeling, whatever it was in that area. Whatever replaces it, whatever you start to work on now has to give you that same feeling. They don't care what area of your life it is, but you have to fill that space within you again. Okay? Okay. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you, dear. I, I really do. I do. It does. Good, 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 good. It does. And... And don't, Thank you so, so much. yeah, don't, um, and then just the last thing, just, it's not, it's probably not the last thing, but another thing. So the person I'm seeing, I believe is your father. I know it is because I've seen him so many times when we talk. So your father is coming through and he, and the words that I'm hearing is what tells me also that it, it's your father and that, um, he is saying, it's time to, like, do, I, and I, I've said this so many times in channeling, but it, saying it again, we don't run from things, we, we fix them, and then we walk with grace to something, but not from something. So the most important reason, and this, this message could be for everyone listening, but, you know, the most important reason to, if you let this go, it, it cannot be out of this or that happened. It has to be out of this is something I would no longer do. And I'm going to replace it with this so that I'm walking gracefully to this. I'm not running from this and I'm not letting it, I'm not letting it go because of what happened, because I'm not going to let something run my life like that. Okay. That's the message. <laughs> that is the message. <laughs> Okay, that's the message, beautiful, beautiful friend. My beautiful friend, that is the message. And um, yes, yes, that is the message. Whew. 
Jeez Louise. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope that's I'm going to re-listen to it after, but thank you so much. You are so welcome. And there is something coming in within a month, within a month's time that could correlate or replace it to give you that same accreditation. Now, accreditation doesn't mean a license or a certificate. It just means it gives you that validation within yourself. It's something you can do and you'll feel very good about it. And that it's coming in within a month's time. Now, this could be something you are already working on, but they're saying it's something new that's coming in. So I feel like it's not something you've already been working on, but something brand new. Okay, love? Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. I'm so happy you called in today. Thank you so much. Well, my pleasure. And have yourself a beautiful day and a beautiful week. You too, you too. And we will chat soon, love. I'm great, great. Have a beautiful day. And thank you again for doing this every Monday and Wednesday. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go to the next question on, on the chat. And it is from Olga. Olga says, my question is, does my mom, Dolores L Ellis, have a message for me? Thank you so much. Okay, Olga, where's Dolores? Here. She's directly behind me. Dolores, what would you like to tell her, your daughter? Uh, <laughs> one message came through so clear. Take the high road. <laughs> Oh, but it's so fun sometimes to take the, oh, it's so, mm, no comment. Take the high road <laughs> and no comment on anything else from me. The next thing that she would want to say is um, let bygones be bygones, take the high road and live your life with peace. Or that's how you can live your life with peace. Um I hope that makes sense to you, Olga. I really do. I hope that helps you a great deal and it gives you the, the message you're looking for today. I really do hope so. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 262. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131-262. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Amy from Milwaukee. I Hi, Tony. knew it. Hey, Amy, what's going on? <laughs> um, just wondering if, uh, I, I guess I'm kind of wondering if my dad has a message for me, but I keep thinking like, what's the point? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's your, what's your dad's first, yeah. first name? Al or Alfred, but Al he went by. Okay. Okay, what would you want to tell her? Amy, the first thing he would want to say to you is, um, there, okay, um, a, there's a couple different things coming in, so I'm going to, they're kind of all uh, like it's one sentence, but three sentences. I'm hearing three different sentences at once. One is about one of your children. One is about the cat. So we'll take them one at a time. Awesome. The first thing about the cat is to um, be smart um, and don't, don't, uh, I don't know, you're going to know what this means, but don't put good money after bad. And then don't um, don't overanalyze the situation. Just know the facts and go with the facts. That's about the cat. The second one about one of your children, and I feel like it's the youngest child, and the youngest child is going to be okay. Um, don't assume two things. Don't assume responsibility, but also for things that are going on with the youngest child, but for 
but also don't give me that word again please don't assume but don't um don't think there's something wrong when there's nothing wrong like don't project thank you don't project things about the youngest child either um okay. there comes a point in time when you have to let your children be the adults that they're choosing to be and i think this i goes didn't get the cold cereal i'm sorry sorry so no, it's okay just go on sorry. I, i'm just gonna mute you so that i can not i don't want to lose the message so i'm gonna just i i'm sorry i'm just muting you and you know you guys sometimes i mute people just so the message can come through full and complete and i don't lose the connection so please don't be offended if i have to mute somebody or the person being muted please don't be offended by that the message is there comes a point in a time when we have to let our children be who they're going to be and there's nothing we can do about it remember everybody comes in with their own destiny and their own path and their own direction in this world and in this life we have to just let them go and be on it it doesn't matter like i i'm gonna say this in this way but don't take it personally like it doesn't matter whose fault it is because maybe it's nobody's fault. Maybe this is just the way it's supposed to be. Maybe this is the way they are supposed to be. Maybe this is how their contracts or their life path is supposed to go. Just because we don't understand it all the time, it doesn't mean that it's not correct. I hope that's really, really helpful for you, Amy. I really do hope that that is helpful. I hope that makes sense to you. Whew. Okay, that's what I have for you, love. Um, I'm going to go to, thank you for calling in. Thank you to everybody who calls in. Um, yeah. So one, I'm going to go to the next question in the chat. If you'd like to call in, 845-277-9131. The next question in the chat is from Elena. Elena. Elena says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Elena. Uh, my question is, will my husband find new employment soon? Thank you so much for all that you do. You're so welcome, and it's my pleasure. No, he's not going to find it as soon as you would want and or I'm hearing the word need. The new employment is going to come in. I hear there might be, um, I hear the word, let me say it this way. I hear the word relocation. I don't know what that means for you, your husband, and the employment. Now that word could mean 10 different things, so don't jump to conclusion. It could mean the place that he's going to be employed at could be a different city and or state, meaning uh, he has to look, you know, he should look out of state because there are so many things that are, you know, there are some states that are just not, not having all of the employment opportunities as other states. Now, the other thing I'm hearing, um, so I hear relocation. Um, and again, that could mean a number of different things. Um, if you guys were thinking of relocating, that could be a good thing. The next thing I'm hearing, when when will he? I know that would be the, the follow-up question. Um, like in a month and a half, something's going to come in. And I think what your husband needs to do or what you need to do, I hear friend of a friend, friend of a friend. So this might be, this, this employment opportunity might come from hearing it from someone. Now, when they say friend of a friend, that means we're just gonna like, I heard it through the grapevine. Okay, so sorry guys, sorry, I couldn't help myself. I didn't want to help myself. Okay. Um, what I am hearing is it could be like you could be out and somebody could be talking about their company is hiring or they can't keep employees or one of your friends could say one of their friends just started this or they're moving to this because a new plant is whatever it is, however it is. That's what I'm hearing. This might be something that you hear from somebody who heard it from somebody, you know, kind of like gossip, but 
a job and that it is it's a, a very viable opportunity for your husband. The other thing I'm hearing is um, if there was something your husband could do on his own, he should start doing that now. So for example, so if he knows how to, um, I know this is, I, I'm just going to say all the words I'm hearing, please don't be offended by any of them. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. If your husband like could even like, um, fix lawnmowers or snow blowers or prepare them for summer and winter, you know, do that prep. Or I don't know, I'm just seeing something with mechanical abilities and maybe it's not mechanical abilities. Don't come at me. This could be for everyone. Or, um, or something with a lawnmower or, you know, lawn yard tools or whatever it is that, that that might be good and might be more satisfying. You know, I saw this video of this guy and I know you're gonna think this is a little off track, but it's not because this was like the most genius thing. This guy lived in this like cul-de-sac thing and he charged his each of his neighbors, I think it was like $2 a week to take their, to get, he got up early and took their, um, garbage cans uh, down to the street on garbage day. And he did that for everybody in the neighborhood. And he was making really good money because there were enough houses that like every week. And so, so, so just, and he, you know, you can take the littlest thing and turn it into a business. You can just take the littlest thing and turn it into a business and it's just crazy when i'm seeing what these people are doing like they're like hey well nobody wants to, people forget they don't want to take it and they do it but whatever it is i i'm hearing for him he should start doing it now whatever it is he can do on his own and even if he like contract whatever he did for work he could list that for other people to hire him for that is also the message I'm getting. So please look into that for him or he should look into that for himself. Um, so yes, that's what I'm getting for you, Elena. I hope that was helpful. I really do hope that was helpful. I think I have enough time for another, um, another uh i don't have time for a call but I, I have uh time for another um thing and the reason being calls like take a little bit longer this i can just read the question and answer it um lynn you're welcome and hi and isabella you're welcome earth wants to know can you contact my dad horace thank you i'm i'm sorry if i'm saying his name wrong and i'm gonna do this quickly where are you here what do you want to say to her Give a little bit, give a little bit of your love to me. That's the first song. Okay. So what I'm getting is, um, what do you want to say? What, what would be the one perfect message you could give her right now that would be helpful? I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing happy birthday. Uh, Earth, tell me, is there somebody who's having a birthday come up very quickly in your life or? in your family? Is it you? Happy birthday. Or was it his? Or somebody on the other side? There's a birthday. Something about a birthday. Happy birthday. Um, and then the next thing I'm hearing is um, take that. You know what, Earth? Take time for yourself. Take a little bit of time for yourself. Do something for yourself. And like in whatever way you I'm going to use the word pamper or spa or take care of yourself. Take some time to do that. It's really important that you do that now. Um, whatever that is, whether that time for yourself is like going to the gym or, you know, whatever it is for you, have that you time and keep it consistent is what I'm hearing. Uh that that is the message that i'm hearing and if there was one more thing and um 
I am going to say your dad is saying he hears everything that you think and or say to him and he's there and he does answer, uh, but you're just not either aware or acknowledging the answer because you think it just like you're thinking the answer. You don't know or believe it's him. So the way spirit or our loved ones answer us. So when we're talking and we hear that voice in our head that sounds just like them, that's because it is them answering. Um, but we think, no, I'm just I'm just assuming or thinking that because that's the way they would have sounded. That's what they would have said. Well, they sound the same on the other side, nine times out of 10, as they did when they were here. So if it sounds just like them, chances are it is them. Okay, um, you guys, I just have such a short bit of time left. Um, TR, I take exact questions or if you want me to connect with a loved one on the other side, I need, I need their first name and relationship to you for the sake of the show because I just don't have, um, I, I try to make it very, um, very, uh, like, uh, it, I don't want to use the word easier, but it is easier to get into the energy and get those ans answers um, when I'm on air. And then I'm going to go to Annie, A-N-I, Annie. I want to ask, when will I be able to manifest a stable romantic relationship in my life? When is someone going to well, first, let's clear that. Let's clear anything stopping or blocking that for you and anybody else listening and or watching. And then I hear it's going to be approximately in a month. Uh, you know, I'm hearing two things for you. I hear in a month and then I hear in three months. Now, this can mean one of two things. In a month, somebody comes in, but it's not them or it won't take off until the three month mark. You might meet somebody in a month, but you might not really be in the relationship for three months. Or it could be two different people. I'm really, is it two different people? Yes. So you might meet somebody in approximately between a month and a month and a half, and you're going to think that's the person that's not the person. Uh, don't invest too much time, energy, or anything else into this person. You're really going to want to, uh, but don't, because at around the three-month mark, is the person that's going to come in that's going to be a more stable investment for you somebody who's able to give a little more um in the person coming in in approximately a month you're gonna think they're checking all your boxes but that's a facade they're just um like i hear fake it till you make it meaning they're going to show you one thing and then once you're in the relationship they're going to flip dicky it so don't uh just, I wish I could say skip it, but it's, it, there's, there's something for you to learn about self-respect in that one. So let's clear, we have healthy self-respect and that one's hitting me right here. Um, it's about self-love too. Oh, shoot. So let's clear that. And when, when you, it's about you knowing your worth. So let's clear that too. I'm sorry, I can't go further into that, but, but you're going to think I'm wrong and that's okay. But then it's the person at the three month mark. Okay. So if you have really strong self at that one to one and a half month mark, you're going to see right through this person. If you don't, you're going to like dive into this. Person. Okay. You guys, I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Please join me then. I look forward to it. I love each and every one of you so stinking much. Um, until then, Go make miracles in your life. Have fun, live, and enjoy yourself.